Kelly Hillier was at UMKC and working at Applebee's when he first read an article about the first military police officers tasked with guarding Saddam Hussein after his capture. Little did he know he'd end up smoking cigars almost nightly with the tyrants. That's how I approached the mission. Treat them with dignity and respect at all times. But that one prisoner, Second Lieutenant Kelly Hillier and his platoon were in charge of guarding was unlike any other in U.S. history. Shortly after deploying, the military police officer agreed to go to Baghdad. Found out he'd be guarding Saddam Hussein at his family's bombed out palace. Not just protecting, but befriending him as Hussein prepared for trial. If you wanted to see how his, uh, where, where his, his head was at for court, you just, you, he insisted you sat down and you had to smoke cigars with him, and I didn't smoke cigars. Soon, Hillier was smoking Hussein's finest Cohibas he kept in Gatorade bottles and escorting him to court to stand trial for crimes against humanity. Problem for Hussein is he had to travel by Black Hawk helicopter. He hated to fly, so he would grab my, my cargo pocket, or, or sometimes he would just grab my hand and hold my hand. Hillier says they talked about family, and Saddam shared advice on women. After his conviction, it was time for Hillier to come back here to Kansas City. He was upset about it and uh, uh, kind of started tearing up a little bit. And uh, he, he was like, well, I understand. You have to be with your mother. Hillier says he's glad he was not there for his execution. No point did I ever think he wasn't an evil person and capable of evil. But he did have another side to him. and. Uh, you saw that when we smoked cigars. Feelings, he told the crowd he still has trouble reconciling, knowing the atrocities Hussein committed. But he's willing to speak with vets tonight about how soldiers treated even the worst prisoners when no one was looking. Dave DeMarco, Fox 4 News.